Miss call text back on WhatsApp. If you stay until the end of this video, you're going to learn how to create this automations. And I'll show you step by step in this video. If you like this content, subscribe to my channel, leave your like and editor play the intro. What's up everyone? Welcome to another YouTube video. Lucas Dentas here bringing another high level content and today I'm going to teach you how you can create missed call text back automation using WhatsApp. Before we jump into this content, I need to warn you that the only solution that has this feature available is WhatsApp. They have these new web hooks that allows us to trigger an automation every time we reject a call or every time we miss a call. As of now, September 16 of 2024, the only WhatsApp integration that has this feature Feature is WhatsApp. Possibly soon in the future, we will see other solutions adding this webhook, but so far, WhatsApp is the only one, and that's the one we're going to explore in this video. So, with no further ado, let's jump into this content. I have two automations to showcase to you. We have one when we miss a call, and one when we reject the call. This first one is when we miss the call, the second one is when we reject a call. For both of this, we're using a webhook as a trigger for both of these automations. For you to set up this webhook, you're going to access your WhatsApp account. You're going to click on general settings and then webhooks. Here, you're going to see four different webhooks and you can create one automation for each one of these scenarios. So call offer, that's when you receive a call. Call accept, obviously, that's when you accept a call. Call reject, when you reject a call and call miss, when you miss a call. You will need one specific webhook, inbound webhook to be more specific, for each one of these scenarios. You won't be able to add more than one inbound webhook to an automation. So basically, you just need to create four automations for each one of these if you wish to create automations for every single scenario that we have here. So after you paste the inbound webhook link here, you can then start your automation and that's what we're going to do now. So now let's go ahead and explore this automation. This is pretty straightforward. This automation, what we're doing is we send a webhook, we look for the contact. If the contact exists, we send a message with the contact's first name. If the contact does not exist, we create a contact and then we send a message without specifying their name and then asking how we can help. No secret, very easy, this automation, right guys? But there's one catch. If you just use the find contact, the number that arrives in the webhook comes with no formatting. So what you need to do is use one of these actions. In my sub account, I do business with people from Brazil. I do business with people from the United States. So if someone calls me, I could receive a call from Brazil or United States. So what I'm doing, I create a chat GPT prompt, which I'm sending the number. I'm explaining how the US formatting works, how the Brazilian formatting works. I'm giving specific guidelines to ensure that has a plus sign to ensure that we have the nine in brazil we do have an extra nine in our numbers i know it's stupid but that's what we do and i'm also making sure that he knows how many digits the number needs to have in order to send the response and then i'm telling you only send the formatted number as the response and why am I doing this? Because if I don't do this, if I just use the find contact from the webhook, the country of the sub account will be automatically used as default and will add that area code in the beginning. So for example, my sub account is from Brazil. If an American number calls me and I don't have this formatting, it's going to add plus five five in front of the number without the formatting. You saw how the number gets here. When the number arrives in the webhook, it comes with no formatting. This is an example of a number. You see, 55, 32, 88, 33, 2498. So this is the number that arrives, but has no formatting. If I just use this in the find contact action, by default, the plus 55, because my sub account is from Brazil, will be automatically added. And we don't want that to happen. And that's why I'm using the chat GPT prompt to make sure that the number is formatted the way I want. So you need to make sure that your sub account is set up with the country that you will receive most of your calls. If that's the case, if you're only going to receive phone calls from one location, you don't need any of this. But if you do have the possibility of other people from other countries calling you, you do need to specify either a chat GPT prompt with all the countries that you are able to serve or you specify the country that you want to format the number for, and then you can add a specific action just like I did here. So to recap, if your sub account only receive calls from a location, make sure that location has that country set up. And if it is, you can use without any formatting. If you are operating from a sub account that you can 
attend multiple countries, make sure that you have a chat GPT prompt. I, you can even create scenarios where you are checking the origin of the number and then doing the right formatting. But the chat GPT prompt makes my job a lot easier because it doesn't matter the country. After going through the step, I have the formatted number and my automation is going to work. Guys, that's basically it. I'm going to leave here in this video two recommendations. One, four ways that you can integrate WhatsApp at high level. And the other one, I'm going to show you how I was able to increase appointment bookings for a client using AI and automation. Guys, thank you so much. See you in the next one.